obviously last year there were a couple that made a big impact, you know, Chris Cornell being mm -hmm. one. Uh, but the biggest one that was a trigger for me was Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. Yeah, absolutely. And that was a big deal, and not really realizing of, of, of how big of a deal that was. Um, granted, yes, I'm a fan of Lincoln Park, you know, dig the music and stuff, but never really thought of it as like something that, that would be that's so, affecting you with. so significant, you know. I never thought about it in that way. But when that happened, it was a trigger. And people have triggers. And you know, last year was you know, 2017. I think before a lot of people actually was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tough the year. best year. Yeah, yeah, not, not the greatest right? year for so, some people. So there was a lot of personal things that I was going through, and it just, you know, again, it was a trigger. It was a trigger for me that was like, okay, it got me to think about all this shit that's going on, you know, personally in my life, and I'm like, God, you know, and. When uh, when they announced that they were going to do a benefit or a, you know a celebration of life concert at the Hollywood Bowl mm -hmm. on October 27th, mm -hmm. I was like, I had to go. Like I had mm -hmm. to go there because, and then I think maybe a lot. And I want to talk about this only because I think maybe there's a lot of people who you hold a lot of stuff in, mm -hmm. and I'm, that's just the kind of person I am. Like I'll hold it in, right. and I need to release. I need to mm -hmm. get. Just get it out. You have to get it out because if, if it builds in, it, it will just eat you alive. And you know, I kind of felt like, well, maybe this will help me release. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, it, it's like it didn't, it didn't. It didn't release in a way that I thought it would. But what's really interesting is, again, with social media, this is where one of the benefits are, mm -hmm. is there's a closed group for people that uh, was created for people who were actually going to the concert. If you had a ticket mm. and you were going to that show, you can join this group. Mm -hmm. okay. and, uh, and so I thought, yeah, you know, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I joined that group and, you know, the concert happens and everything, so it's like, okay, what's going to happen to this group? It's still going on and it's still just as strong today as it was, you know, before the concert, mm. you know, uh, back in October so right. but what's interesting is is again the support it's a support group mm -hmm. it's a place for people to feel comfortable to talk about things that they don't feel comfortable talking about to their husband or their wife or the people that are the closest to them in their family because they don't get it mm -hmm. they don't understand you know it's for a lot of these people, especially for you know, the Lincoln Park fans, what makes this very significant mm -hmm. for fans of that band is that band was their voice. Right. They grew up with that band being able to say things that they wish they that they could. Yeah. You know, it was an, it was an expression. It was like right. this band the voice of a saved me from me killing myself when I was in high school or grammar school or college or whatever it is. You know, so there was you know and, and you know if you listen to the lyrics and and Chester Bennington you know, wore his heart on his sleeve like what he sang about and talked about and what they he wrote, dealt with. Yeah, he wrote they, they they dealt with it and unfortunately because of his depression and mental demons they got the best of him. Mm -hmm. You know. So, yeah, that sucked, and it, it, it's hard for a lot of people, and I see it in this group, you know, that it's hard for a lot of people. But the benefit of that horrible thing, that tragedy, is it brought people together. Mm -hmm. It got people to open up and to talk about things. If someone's going through a bad day, mm -hmm. if someone is... is and then, then this is this is what's what's really screwed about depression is you can be fine, you know, we're talking fine, and then it'll just hit you mm. out of left field, and you are like in the shit, mm. you know, and and it's it's like out, almost like it's like out of your control. It hits you when you least expect it, and that's what a lot of people I think who don't deal with it or don't understand it don't understand, or they don't get it, you know. It's something that it, it, it happens, you know. What's great about this group is 
you know, if you're having a really crappy day, or if or, or you get you know, this thing hits you, people will go on and they'll post and say whatever, and nobody's going to judge them. No one's going to tell them, well, you shouldn't feel that way. No one's going to criticize them. You get love. You get support. You get people who understand it because they're going through the same thing. It's just like, you know, so any kind of support group. And that's what has come out of that particular event. Yeah. And, it, and, and it's, it's been great, you know. And, you know, there's times where, like, I'll be fine, and then, I, you know, it's like, it'll hit you. It's like, holy shit, you know. And then you think, crap, I don't want to say anything. Because your first reaction is, I don't want to dump on a bunch of people. I don't want to tell them about, you know, God, I'm having right. a shitty day. You know, or, or, or I'm dealing, I'm really depressed today because of such and such or whatever. But then, on the other hand, is you need to release. You need to get it out. And you need to have a safe place to be able to do it. Right. <coughs> so that group, for example, and there's a couple of them. There's a lot of groups, you know, but there's a couple of them that, that I'm involved with uh, that allow you to do that. And there are people in here, in that group, some I've met, some I've met at the concert, or people, and there's people I've never even met. But I can talk to them. And, and I can express my depression. Right. Or if someone's going through something, and it's, it's, it's funny, maybe, maybe it's, it's, it's a God-given intervention or something, mm -hmm. but when somebody posts something nine out of 10 times, I just know what to say. I know how to respond to that. You know, and I'm not a professional, none of us are. If you need professional help, get professional help. You know, don't look at this as something. Right. Yeah, don't, look to, don't look to us. You know, <laughs> but what we can offer is at least support.